All right, so our composite is done. We want to render this back to our desktop. So we'll come down to our IO bins and I'll take a render file and drag it into the scene. I'll zoom in on that. I'll hold Option Shift to extend the front input and connect it to the matchbox and result. I'll double click on my render file. Let's rename this. So I'll click in the field where it says node, where you see the name. I can name this final render. You can add tokens if you want to, as we talked about, such as the project nickname, workstation, hour, date. All this information could be added in the name, but I'm going to leave it just named File Render and click Rename. I'll leave everything set to the default, the format, the settings, the render destination, leave it to Batch Reels and Batch Render. And then we come over to the left-hand side, I click the Render button, and Flame is going to go through the 39 frames of the end result of our comp and put it back on our desktop. And it's done. I'll click on the Tools tab to return back out to the desktop. And there we see our final render. If I double click on it, we bring it to the player. And I click Play, and we can see there's the end result. Now, as I said in the very beginning, I wasn't going to do every single step that Joel Osis did. This tutorial would have went much longer than it already did. But we created a very similar end result to what he achieved. The last thing I want to do now is render this out to my hard drive. So we'll do that in the Media Hub. So I'll click on the Media Hub tab to go to my Media Hub. I want to render this to my Promise Pegasus 2, so I double click on that. I go into my Media Folder. If I want to create a new folder, I can come to the gear, click, choose New Folder. And again, I'll just name this Final Render. And I'll double click on that new folder to enter it. Now, over here where we see our final render in the batch renders, I pick it up drag and drop it into the folder. We get the media export dialog box. Here for export, I don't want a file sequence. I want to actually generate a QuickTime. So I'll choose movie, and then you have your format presets. And you click on that, here's all the format presets that you can choose to render this out. I'll choose the Apple ProRes 422, and then we can click on the show advanced settings to access all of the settings. Right now the file name is set to match the file that's inside of the flame, which I'll leave it at that. Include audio is on by default, but I'll click on that to turn that off since we don't have audio. And then below you have your resolution setting, your bit depth. I'm going to leave everything from the clip. So the resolution and the scan mode and the bit depth will match. I choose export. Flame will now render out the QuickTime. It's done. I can now bring Finder up, go to the media folder, go to the final render. There's the file we just rendered out. I can open it up and play it back. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to look at how we can archive and restore our projects.